Sir! <laughs> I love it. Hey, y'all enjoy some of the best wintertime fishing action on the Mobile Tensaw Delta for the winter of 2017-2018. Look at all the damn fish on the fish finder. Look at that. Freaking insane out here. Oh, you caught a freaking mullet. Mitchell just caught a mullet. Daddy. It's actually white. I mean, it's telling you that's the. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. That's why. I, that's why it's called the do nothing. What what happened? What happened to us the other day? is it's, it, it seemed like once the fish started feeling the rod pressure the fish started just swimming with it and you like all right see you just got to pick it up and keep the and keep the rod bent very well like you, you can't you can't snatch it out and then give any slack to it so basically like don't be erratic rule number one don't be erratic. Oh, a little, little baby. <laughs> Ten a person? Yeah. Yeah, there's that's I think once they start feeling the pressure, they just start swimming with the boat. It's kind of hard to get the hook in them. Another right, <laughs> trout, nice one. Perch. Let's see it. Beautiful. Nice job, sir. Put you know in uh, Arkansas glove. That's your favorite lure in the whole wide um, world. Sort of a confidence bait, but I mean, uh -oh. Sammy's on. Just a little comparison between Florida and Alabama. See if it's see if it's affected. A lot of snook on that bait. You're all right. Nice. What is that? Oh, there he is, boy. Hit him. Oh, double, 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 double. Oh, baby. Got, oh, one, baby. Got, the Got the giant. Oh, they got a little smaller on us down here. Let's see what mine looks like. Oh, we've got some. You got a little pull to them. Very thoughtful. Not bad. Out here in January, Raft River. Coldest freaking week of the whole winter. Not too bad. <laughs> you did. Yeah. 
You just never. Oh, nice chunky fish. Woo. That was worth the wait right there. That is. How's that DOA grub treat me? Nice. The the our biggest our biggest fish have come have come in 18 feet of water. Look at him go! That's the mud minnow. Without the disco. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got uh -oh. Mitchell. Mitchell Tampa finally Mino. brought the Tampa, Tampa Minnow. Look at him. He's missing his all his spots. He only has a couple. Man, what happened to my sparkle beetles? They aren't. They aren't even getting touched. Oh, there he is. I had to call him out. He's bumping it. He's thinking about it. Sammy, 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 Sammy. Man, the mud minnow is on fire. <laughs> it is ugly. I like it when the ice starts forming on the rod tip. Oh, look at that beauty. Woo. Man, I wish we were in a tournament today. God, great day to be in a tournament. We would be doing all right. Look at that. That is crazy, man. They were like. They didn't want anything to do with those paddle tails up further up river. All they wanted was the beetle. Now all they want is the paddle tail. Oh, called him out again. He wants a sparkle beetle. He needs a little sparkle beetle in his belly. Double up. Double up. Come on, put one more on. Can't tell which side of the line I'm on here. Alright, good now. Oh, look at that little baby redfish. Hey. He's so spot. cute. What do you say, spot? Cute little fella. Eating a sparkle beetle. You got a red? Nope. Big old nice trout. God. Have you, ever, have you ever been fishing with me before, Mitchell? Uh, we could have, we could have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sammy, you just got slammed right there. Uh oh, what we got here? Oh man, he was just swimming with it. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh, look at him come to the top. Y'all haven't had any action like that, have I think it was a good idea to keep drifting this time. No, you can't even heart, you can't even see the fish on the screen now, and we're in 12 feet of water. You just never know. That's why you just keep going. The freaking line on the reel freezes up like instantly. Did you notice that? Woo! 
Dang, look at that one. Friday. Incredible. Uh oh. Look at that. He's got two teeth. Oh, there he is, Sam. Get him. Be careful, you got ice under your feet right there, bro. Oh, you got them. Oh, this one ain't, this one ain't no baby here. No, that's this, that's this uh, rod right here. This is, this is a solid fish right here, Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, hell, it might, might be a red. If it's a trout, it's, it's a dang, it's a dang five pound fish. But it could be a two and a half pound redfish. Yep, redfish. Oh, check out the, check out that big old spot on them. Look at that guy. Got some cool spots on them. Nice fish. Mitchell! Wrecking them. Mitchell, I ever tell you you're you're really good at doing nothing up there doing that do nothing? Watch those rods back there, see that everybody gets bit. There he is, there he is, Sammy. No, a trout is just is all about staying uh, staying steady. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he was he was on it, just swimming with the boat the whole way. Good fish up there. I think that one that I just had on there was a red, just swimming with the boat. Yeah, sir. Ooh, that was pretty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Do nothing. Why not? I love it. It's a good fish. Yeah, bud. <sighs> I'm trying it on the old DOA kale grub. DOA, not a good one like that.
grab my camera or my phone. Hey y'all. So I, didn't, I never did finish saying it's so you got the five fish on Saturday, five fish on Sunday, and, and then speckle trout only. Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on. Man, they liking that DOA grub now. The Tampa freaking, the Tampa turd minna. The added, the added effect on my tournament is that you get uh, you get bonus points for live fish. So if you bring your fish in, dude, that's a fine one. That's getting, that's getting back big. Yeah. So what the way we would handle that fish is we would net it, take it off the hook, and get it in the live well as quick as possible because you get you get a quarter pound bonus for your live fish and we would be freaking killing a tournament right now killing a tournament. so then you get a quarter pound bonus if your fish are alive for the tournament oh man that's a good one right there that is a solid fish really solid fish i think it's another oh there we got one on here sammy oh is this our first triple oh man what a freaking nice trout about right there boy got him must have had freaking 15 bites just then they just kept going and biting it biting it biting it Look at the big old, look at that belly. See, a buddy, buddy of mine says that when you see that seam on their belly, uh -huh. that they're a, uh, that's a, that's a full grown fish right there. Nice. I drove right past Shirley. Oh yeah, I got him. Oh, what happened? Am I hooked on your line? What the hell is going on here? I got I'm hooked on something. I got a stick. How about that? I'm Oh, that's the big red of the day. Or is that a big trout, man? That thing's going to the top. All right, I think you're going over that line and about to go under this line. So just do it, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh yeah, you... No, you're fine. I mean, you like, looks like you came right in the dang. Huh? That's not a little one. It's a freaking stud. Freaking stud trout. It's 
20 feet deep. Our all right three pounds on the money three pounds on the money quit fishing Nineteen and a half inches. There we go. Tag speckled trout. Let us know if you find a green one. Oh yeah, she in good shape. Oh, I like I like these rods, yeah. With some backbone, but like you can oh yeah, that's it. That's like the, that's the full, that's the full story on that green rod. Lightweight backbone, throw bombs with. I mean, that's like the, that's that's the slogan. Really? For. Yeah. Two tags. This is a little bit more of a rookie move here, Sammy. But at least the rod did go all the way to the bottom of the boat. Would have been. Catching specs real easy today. <laughs> there he is. Uh. How deep are we right now, Patrick? Oh, okay. Nice, dude. That's a nice trout. Solid. See any of you on <clears throat> back on the stern. Look behind you, Patrick. Behind you, Patrick. Lunker. Get him. Speak phone. That's a good one. Y'all got a little, um, y'all got a little canal working right over there. The Lunk Canal. Get him, bruh. Nice. Nice. Nice, bud. Those are 
are very blunt, aren't they? Then, then there are no reds. Nice, dude. Nice. I know, I think so too. I think I'm reeling this in and getting good footage of it. Your, look, yours is no slouch. Yeah, Sammy's was headed, Sammy's was headed home. Yeah, bud. I'm not moving because I got the I got the footage. You need to get that net. Nice, bud. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> I love it. so awesome. I mean, do nothing. Just slam it. There she is, freshly tagged. That's awesome, bud. That thing's good. I mean, that's going to be awesome to, um, I mean, so like, you, so is that going to be, uh, like that's gonna be like public knowledge of, of how you tag that fish. I mean, that's gonna be like, how does that work with the tags? The angler who caught the fish and the angler who tagged the fish. Information about where it was tagged. All that tag. That's awesome. I already had it rolling. I was anticipating the bite. Come on, little red fish. Go ahead and put a tag in his little butt. Each of the fish that we tag we take down the information like where it was caught, the length that it, when it was caught, the weight that it was, and time of day, and the date. So then we turn that information in to the sea lab, then when the fish is recaptured, they collect the same data from the angler who caught the fish, and then, uh, then we can start building a case as to where, where these fish go, when they go to different areas. So I'm really excited to be a part of this. Uh, you can throw that. I'll see if we can catch a, another good size one. Come on and eat it. Yeah, I think, Mitchell, I think you need to come back here. I don't think, yeah, it's because they're biting it when it's further back. Tell you what, man, our redfish population has been just getting better and better and better. And um, I got a, I got the opportunity to meet the uh, the new mariculture manager, 
went down there and toured that place and um Mariculture Center where it's a it's a marine hatchery for the state down in Gulf Shores so you'll be able to go to my YouTube channel and take the whole tour um, hmm? no it's all indoor all right buddy he bit it he didn't stay on it there he is again Every cast. Yeah, that's, man, I just got to where I just started barely just bumping it. And you could feel it, you could feel it drifting in the, uh, in the current. Got a mix. Get them, boy. If you kind of do, like, whenever I feel them start bumping it. I'll just start. Uh, I'll just start doing like that. I'll just start bump, like just barely wiggling it. And a lot of times that'll entice them to go ahead and bite it. Here we'll go and oh, I like his spots. We'll throw some. We'll throw a tag on him. That's so fun. So tagging fish is something that's really, really cool for me to be able to be a part of uh, with this this whole process of getting the tag in there and documenting all the stuff, the you know all the time, the date, and uh, releasing these fish and the anticipation of one of these things, if not all of them being recaptured and learning about their travels and their behaviors from from this day in January when the fish were caught to say heck maybe next January when they're recaptured uh, anyway looking forward to hearing back from them That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I consider the perfect last cast. Hey y'all, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Uh, what an amazing day of fishing that we had a chance to be a part of out here on uh, Mobile Tensaw Delta. Um, if you're ever interested in uh, learning more about this type of fishing uh, and you would like to book a trip, uh, go on a charter with me and I can teach you some of the tactics that I've learned over the years. You can contact me through my website at uglyfishing.com. Uh, also, if you don't mind, I'd love it for y'all to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Uh, it really helps with, uh, with this, this video to get seen by other people that are like you that love fishing. Um, anyway, I hate to say it, but this video is about to end uh, before we get to fully see this fish we ran completely out of SD memory and um, anyway it was a great trip and thanks for watching oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. after I put all the crap up